we talked about kind of uh, how this you almost all successful entrepreneurs go through a dark night of the soul mm-hmm. something challenging something difficult that they have to change and and face uh that that kind of uh, proves to themselves i guess that uh, they can they can handle the difficult things mm. because being an entrepreneur is let's say uh, compared to working uh, the nine to five a uh, corporate position uh, it it is risky in a sense you're you're having to to take some risks mm-hmm. that you might not have to if you're working a nine to five yeah you have to definitely uh, be responsible for your own destiny. Mm-hmm. Where in most uh, nine to five, I mean, you have to kind of show up for work, but it, it's not all on you to make sure everyone gets paid in the company and how much, you know, that if you don't work hard enough, like I think that worker mentality is if I just do my part of the job, I'll get my paycheck. For an entrepreneur is if I do my job and do it well and then like five other jobs at the same time and do those well, then I can have a successful business. Yeah. And right now, uh, you know, we come to the present. It's uh, it's a lot of uh, a lot of women and men are now forced to become entrepreneurs in mm-hmm. a way uh, because of the changing uh, markets. Mm. And, well, uh, every time there's a downturn in the economy, there's a rise of entrepreneurship. Mm. Yeah, because people get laid off, and then they say, "Well, I got to do something. I got to get my take uh, control of my destiny," and so. Um, this happened actually during the uh, Depression. Uh, more entrepreneurs and millionaires were created at that time than almost any other time in history. Mm-hmm. I mean, comp- comparably now, uh, a million dollars at that time. Because um, the, most people in a downturn will follow the masses of woe is me, uh, you know, just kind of wait, wait it out. But th- those people like me that are restless and innovative say, there's an opportunity here, exactly now. And what I noticed too, even just recently with the um, pandemic, I saw a lot of coaches just say, oh, I don't know if, not our coaches, but other coaches just kind of woe is me. There's no, you know, the economy's going. Mm. And the only time I can be successful is when everyone's buying. But that opened up a whole market for people who are still out there doing the work and putting themselves out there. And their people always need personal growth. And it actually, times of, struggle especially now the mental health industry with uh, the stress of the election and the um, virus people are stressed because of an election i know can you believe it (laughs) and uh, and the virus and and everything that's going on in the world the mental health demand for mental health is has never been higher and i believe that life coaching is really a key for people that are functional they don't necessarily need therapy but they need to talk to someone they need to work mm. on themselves they need to find that balance within themselves so yeah. there's so much opportunity at any time but most people don't um, take advantage of it and that's a true entrepreneur is to be able to see that 